We're back again for another edition of Seattle Seahawks Today. Powered by Chad Sports, Tyler Jones here with you as the Seahawks have another signing. They finally are bringing in an inside linebacker. The Seahawks have agreed to terms with Tyrell Dodson, formerly of the Buffalo Bills. Contract terms still to be announced. According to Jordan Schultz of Bleacher Report, he broke the story of this signing by Seattle. And I got to tell you, when you look at Dodson, it looks like he passes the smell test. This is an exciting signing for Seattle, and it's really kind of an under-the-radar move of sorts. Uh, Dodson, kind of give you some context here. He is just 25 years of age, went undrafted in 2019 out of Texas A&M, and he's just been awesome since he came into the league with the Buffalo Bills. Started uh, 10 games last year, played in all 17, played in 16 in 2022, 16 games in 2021, and 10 games in 2020. But the story with Dodson, if you are a pro football focus, PFF fan like myself, then this guy is going to go right up your alley. Uh, Because get this, folks. When you look at Dodson, here's what PFF is saying. Dodson was the number one, numero uno, player among linebackers in the entire NFL in 2023 with the highest grade of all linebackers with a Here's his grade, folks. A 90.2 defensive grade. So, if you believe PFF, if that is your uh, area that that you call home of sorts, the Seahawks just signed the best inside linebacker in all of football. Pretty good, right? Some more numbers for you from PFF. A a run defense grade of 86.1. A tackling grade 54.7. Pass rush grade of 72.8. And here's the kicker. An 88.4 coverage grade. And I've been hearing from a lot of you when it comes to Bobby Wagner of the folks that didn't want Bobby to come back. The common theme was, well, Bobby is a liability in coverage and that the Seahawks need to do better when it comes to finding coverage linebackers. Well, you got that here with Terrell Dodson. He is an excellent coverage linebackers. So the Seahawks get some much needed help at inside linebacker. I can't imagine that this deal is going to cost a ton either uh, when we see the final numbers of what they look like. But you get a guy that's under the radar, that's very good in coverage, that's one of the best graded linebackers in the NFL. Uh, Great job. Great job by John Schneider and Mike McDonald to find this guy and to bring him in. What is your one-word reaction to the Seahawks signing uh, Tyrell Dodson? Let us know in the comments section. I'll give you my one-word reaction here in a moment, but want to hear from you guys first of this move by the Seahawks to sign Tyrell Dodson to the linebacker spot. Folks, this is why you subscribe to Seahawks today. Man, uh, I'm not going to lie. I am uh, I'm tired, but we are charging on, folks, here on the channel today. As uh, we had our live show earlier, we had the reaction to Sam Howe. Uh, we've been all over free agency all week long. We've done three live shows this week. It's been pretty crazy what we've been doing on the channel, just churning out content like no one else is here on Seahawks Today. And we're getting close to 51,000 subscribers, less than 100 away from reaching that next milestone. So if you're a Seahawks fan, you got to subscribe to Seahawks Today. Uh, we're working hard around here to bring you the best Seahawks content we can up to the minute. When news happens, you're the first to know about it here on the channel. And we'll continue to keep you updated and posted what's going on, the latest happenings with your favorite team, from free agency to trades, like today with Sam Howell, to the draft and more. Lock us in. Subscribe now for free. You'll be glad you did. YouTube.com slash Seahawks TV to subscribe to the channel for the latest that's going on here on your Seattle Seahawks. All right, uh, more on Dodson. Let's go over some statistics here for you. We went over the PFF numbers. Now uh, the stats of what he did this past year in Buffalo. We mentioned played in all 17 games this past season with 10 starts uh, for the Buffalo Bills. 
And uh, he had a total of 74 tackles, 57 solo tackles, two and a half sacks, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery, and two passes defended. So pretty good numbers uh, when it comes to Dodson there. And and one thing that I want to bring up as well is the familiarity level. Um, Dodson was coached in Buffalo by... Dun, 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 Leslie Frazier. So Leslie Frazier, the Seahawks' new assistant head coach, uh, is very familiar with him. So what we've seen throughout the offseason is that the Seahawks are doing a lot of going with what they know. From staff that they've brought in uh, to players. And this is another one of those. A guy that know, that Leslie Frazier knows awfully well. And the age factor, not only should this be, in theory, a relatively cheap contract, but only 25 years old. Uh, You could argue that Dodson is just starting to come into his own, that he hasn't even reached his full potential, his full prime yet. More on those PFF numbers. I gave you the grades earlier, but kind of ranking-wise, we mentioned number one graded player among all linebackers of the NFL, number three in coverage, and number 11 in run defense. Now, if you've been watching this show for any length of time, you all know full well that we have talked a lot about the Seahawks' run defense issues. That has been an ongoing problem for quite some time. This year, last year, and so on. Leonard Williams helped out a lot for Seattle when it came to the run defense. You brought him back. Now you bring in Dodson. That'll be a huge help for the Seahawks to have Do- have Dodson uh, help out on the run defense side. So that's a very good sign as well uh, as far as that goes for Seattle to have uh, Dodson taken care of. Uh, so a big deal. He was in the building today uh, with John Schneider. Uh, they met and got the deal done. We have a comment from uh, Rick Wollin as well saying, yes, sir, fam, uh, f- favorite player on Madden, go crazy, welcome. So uh, some excitement there on uh, that part from his uh, newest teammate to uh, bring him in uh, there at that point. Um, and then some more context. We mentioned the high grades from PFF. Uh, PFF listed him as the Bills' most improved player this past season, and he took advantage of an opportunity. Uh, Dodson was thrust into the starting lineup for the Buffalo Bills when All-Pro Matt Milano suffered a season-ending leg fracture, and he stepped up, and that defense didn't miss a beat. So pretty remarkable from Dodson on that front uh, to see this story of how far he's, he's come. Now, being fully transparent, I, I do have to bring this up. Um, on Dodson. This is from a few years ago. We mentioned he went undrafted in uh, 2019. And this was following an incident in Arizona in which he was arrested and accused of domestic violence. Dodson received a six-game suspension after pleading guilty to misdemeanor disorderly conduct charges. Um, He was then later waived by the Bills, re-signed to the practice squad, upon finishing his suspension and then later on uh, earned a spot on the active roster there. So he does have that uh, in his history, so uh, something to monitor there. But nonetheless, the uh, Seahawks get a very good football player. They fill a big position of need in Dotson, a guy that grades out well that's still very young, and I don't think he's going to cost a ton either. We'll see what the money terms are, but I think it's very good. How would you grade the signing for the Seahawks here uh, bringing in uh, Terrell Dotson, I- I'm I'm going to give this a solid A here. Um, I-, I like this for Seattle. I think this makes a ton of sense and fills a huge need uh, for this team with some young talent and a guy that grades so well uh, on all, f- especially when it comes to run coverage. That's a big deal for the Seahawks to have that with uh, with Dotson here. Subscribe now for more Seahawks coverage. Lock us in. Going to be a a busy weekend ahead. More to come. So stay tuned for that right here on Seattle Seahawks today. Uh, For continuing coverage here on your favorite team, we got you covered each and every day here 
on Seahawks Today. I'm Tyler Jones. Have a great rest of your evening. If anything else happens, come right back here to Seahawks Today. we got you covered.